Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and I'm sitting in front of a 1989 Kawhi GE1. It measures five foot one inch from the very front to the very back, and this was kind of Kawhi's second tier up. So they had um, two other tiers before this called GM1 and GM10. Those are smaller pianos, um, I think four foot ten around there. So this is your next step up from that. Um, and we love selling these pianos because they're kind of like we relate Kawhi to like Lexus. So. I don't know what kind of car you drive, obviously, but for most purposes, we use, I always relate everything to cars, right? So you have like Chevy Ford, Toyota Honda, Lexus, and then Mercedes BMW. You guys will probably disagree with me and I'm probably gonna get a bunch of YouTube hate mail from that, but that's just kind of how I do it real quick in the store. People are wondering where these brands kind of fall. So Kawhi is a really popular brand, especially here in Arizona. It has a contract with the LDS church, so they're in every single ward. Um, and the LDS population is very high here in Mesa. Um, so we see a lot of these Kawhis. Now this particular one is in phenomenal shape. We have buffed the cabinet entirely, got all those surface scratches out. I rate this finish an A. And the only reason it's on A plus is because there's a tiny little ding right here on this cheek block and a tiny little chip right here on the music desk. And I'm talking tiny and not noticeable. So it's very, very small. Other than that, this thing looks and plays and sounds brand new. I'm gonna play it for you guys. Now, a lot of you guys know this already, but the whole thing about Japanese pianos sounding bright and tinny and super light in action, that is true, but Kawhi is supposed to be more on the warmer side compared to like Yamaha or Tadashi or Takai. There tend to be a little bit more rounded tones and the action is, tends to be a little bit heavier than the very light Yamaha action. Um, so it's kind of this weird mix where they're kind of hitting some of the marks of like handmade pianos where they're a little bit heavier, a little bit more warm, but they definitely have that Japanese like purity, clean, pure tone. So I'm going to play this for you guys. If you have any questions about any this piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.